Hi, this is JP from Nautilus over Arkham. This time we are testing out the brand new Hero Pack uh, War Machine with the pre built deck uh, leadership build, and we are playing against Eponimo on standard difficulty. So let's get started. So we are ready to begin. Uh, we have the decks uh, pre shuffled. We are playing uh, as a standalone the Eponimo scenario from the Mad Titan Shadow Box. Uh, the only thing left for us to do is to reveal cards until we hit a spell that will be in play at the start of the uh, scenario. So let's do that. So uh, when we flip this, uh, we are using the standard. Uh, Armies of Titan and Black Order modular sets. So, when we reveal this, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell environment is discarded and puts it into play in their play area. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. So, we'll do that. And uh, uh, that is another spell. Another spell. Well, we get Fireball. This gets shuffled back. So, uh, Fireball is an environment, search, uh, spell enters, play with four invocation counters on it, forced response after the last invocation counter is removed from Fireball, discard it, deal four damage to your identity. So we put four tokens on it, and it's uh, in play here, I'll just keep it over here. And we are ready to begin, so let's quickly look. So, post interrupt when Ebony Mo activates against you, remove an invocation counter from each spell card in your play area. So, we are uh, resolving these after Ebony Mo activates. Uh, let's start by drawing uh, our opening hand. So, we get uh, go down swinging, munition bunker, go down swinging. Pink Carrier, Go Down Swing and Scorch Earth, so pretty awful hand, so to speak, so we don't have any allies to discard, so these are useless at the moment. Uh, munitions Bunker, actually, we should play. I think... Uh, well, uh, we can't use the Munitions Bunker right away, so... I think uh, we have to do some some stuff before that. I'm thinking of uh, Mulligan in these four cards. One, two, three, four. We get uh, Missile Launcher, Iron Man, Falcon and Mockingbird. So, okay, well... Uh, you could play Iron Man. Search for a tech upgrade and put it into play. But we want to... I think we want to get the Queen Carrier into play as fast as possible. So... Uh, we don't... We, we have the Scorch Earth here. I think we have to skip the munitions bunker at this point. We want to play Iron Man. So we probably want to flip to our. Okay, so I'm using the missile launcher, munitions bunker, and mockingbird. Play Queen Carrier, but then we don't have enough to play our man, even with the Queen Carrier. Well, this is a <laughs> this is a annoying situation here. So uh, Iron Man could play the tech upgrade, which is is a launcher, but not an ideal play. Maybe we'll do this. 
we'll save Iron Man for next turn. So, uh, we'll flip, or actually I'm uh, shuffling a War Machine card, which is Scorch Urge, back into the deck before we flip. Then uh, we'll flip. So, uh, after you change to this form, place 5 ammo counters on the War Machine, and I am using the same ammo counters that uh, are designed for the crossbones uh, scenario, so those are our ammo counters. We'll use Falcon, Munitions, Bunker and Mockingbird to play Queen Carrier. I'll use the Queen Carrier uh, to generate a resource to play Missile Launcher. And we'll keep Iron Man in hand. And I will actually for for one. And that is our turn. Let's ready up. Um, I'll use this to use one ammo counter to deal two damage before we end. So we're ready up. We draw back up to five. Uh, we get gauntlet gun, sneak attack, repulsor beam, full auto, and Iron Man. So. Let's see, uh, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, Ebony more activates against us, I won't defend, so one plus, uh, discard one card at random from your hand, shuffle these, so we don't know what, which is which, and we lose full auto, okay, well that's okay I guess. And then this loses one counter and we get an encounter card. And it is Black Op or their infantry, so guard. Uh, when defeated, give the villain a tough status card. And that is the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, uh, this turn I think we will... Uh, we will use uh, Sneak Attack. I'll pay it with Gauntlet Gun. Uh, we'll sneak attack Iron Man into play. So Iron Man figures after you Iron Man enters play. Search your deck and discard 5 for a tech upgrade and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck and we'll take the Gauntlet Gun. Which we will uh, proceed to play with the Repulsor Beam. And uh, then Iron Man and War Machine will attack the Black Order. Infantry and it gives tough to Ebony more and we'll use the missile launcher to remove the tough and uh, at the end of the phase Iron Man is discarded and that is it so we're ready up also, exhaust gun to gun, turn to resource, war machine event, and place one of war machine. Okay, uh, I think we can't use this uh, this turn yet because we couldn't play. Uh, uh, we couldn't play a war machine event, so okay. So uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat here. Ebonimo Ebony attacks. I won't defend, so I think I forgot last turn to uh, take the damage, so I'll do it now. So 1 plus 3. So we take 4. And we remove 1 from here. Uh, encounter card is uh, Raptor. Uh, reactor overload. Uh, when revealed, each player must choose to either take two damage or place two threats here, and it has the price icon. So we have to remove that before we can remove the uh, threat on the main scheme. And that is the villain phase. So let's go to the next zero phase. Oh yeah, uh, we forgot to draw our uh, hand. So I'll do it now. We get uh, shoulder cannon. 
make the call target strike targeted strike black panther and man team so that is that turn let's go to the next turn uh, let's see uh, we have some choices here i think we want to play the shoulder cannon so i'm using the pink carrier and uh, Command team play shoulder cannon using the gauntlet gun. I'll add one ammo counter here and get one resource to play target strike. So we remove one ammo counter from here and remove three threats from a scheme. So we get rid of this one. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, this was when revealed, so there is actually. I think, uh, we'll put two more threat here. Then we have a cheap ally to play. Don't. Kimber is the cheapest, and we don't have enough resources for that. I think I also forgot to remove one ammo counter for using this last turn, so I'll do that again here. Not sure, but <laughs> new uh, deck, so I'm a bit uh, a bit lost with uh, all of the actions. So let's see, I think we are supporting one here. Then uh, I'll use the missile launcher, lose one, deal two here, use the shoulder cannon, deal one here. I'll use an ammo counter to ready and use it again. We'll flip down. So we lose all of our counters, but we don't have any, so that's okay. I am keeping uh, my hand, readying up. And drawing back to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think one too many cards. Okay, so we have command team Goliath make the call. Energy Black Panther make the call. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, Ebony Maw activates. So uh, two plus zero. Uh, we still don't advance. Okay, for now. Then we lose one here, and the encounter card is Shadows of the Past, so we get Living Laser. It says Quick Strike, but that doesn't concern us because we're in Auto Eco. Okay, uh, we'll get the Deadly Light Show. Uh, it has three threat and hinder one, so four. And it also has the Crisis icon, so. It also reads, uh, when defeated, deal 1 damage to its identity. And we shuffle the laser strikes into the encounter deck. And that is our villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so that uh, Shadows of the Past really, <laughs> really messed up our, our gameplay, so... We need to defeat Living Laser, then we need to start removing a lot of threats, so... Uh, we are really struggling with all of the threats, so it might be that we need to start... Uh, ...trying to just burn down Ebony Maw. Unfortunately, we don't have any good ways to deal that much damage. Luckily, we have the missile launcher and shoulder cannon, so we can start chipping away with uh, living laser then we probably need to decide do we want to play Goliath or do we want to play Black Panther let's check if we have any good uh, leadership events we have sneak attack it actually works with Goliath and go down swinging 
actually yeah so we can uh, play black panther use black panther and go down swinging with black panther to defeat living laser or just deal a lot of damage So I think the first thing we are going to do is heal for 3 damage. Uh, then we will shuffle the target stri targeted strike into our deck with uh, James Rhodes ability. Then we will flip to hero mode. I think we are playing Black Panther by the way. And I am using uh, Man Team, Wing Carrier, and uh, Energy. We'll get uh, one go down swinging from the discard. We'll attach it to Black Panther. Actually, let's not uh, pick that one. I'll pick the sneak attack. So, let's put the allies up here and the upgrades down here. So, now let's sneak attack in Goliath. So, So we are playing this and I'm using one of the make the calls for it. We'll play Goliath. Oh yeah, and when we flip to uh, War Machine we get the ammo count five ammo counters. There's five ammo counters on War Machine. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, let's see. Goliath wants to uh, get plus four attack until the end of the phase. At the end of the phase, discard Goliath max once per phase. So uh, we'll do that. We'll hit the living laser. So that is dealt with. Black Panther uh, will uh, work this away. And we will. Use the missile launcher, deal two here, use the shoulder cannon one here, let's uh, ready, shoulder cannon far again, and that is the turn, we'll save the rest. We'll keep make the call in hand. One, two, three, four more cards. We get upgraded Cassis, Repulsor Beam, Sneak Attack, Genius, and make the call. Ready up. Uh, Goliath goes away. And. Uh, we'll add a threat to the main scheme, so this advances, and uh, the power stone when revealed, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. And uh, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until the spell environment is discarded and puts it to play in their play area. And we have a threshold of 9. It starts with 1, so let's dis uh, shuffle these. And we get where are all the spells? 
Okay, we get uh, manipulation. This go into this card. So manipulation comes into play with two invocation counters. Force response after the last invocation counter is removed from manipulation. Discard it. Discard one card at random from hand. You are confused. And then uh, Eponimo activates against us. I will defend with uh, War Machine. And one plus one is two. We have a defense of two. Then we remove these so the, the, the fireball uh, gets discarded and this loses one. So we deal four damage to our identity. And uh, we get an encounter card. It is Outrider. When revealed, discard one card at random from hand. We are really uh, losing cards to all of this. enemies and stuff like that so let's see of course we lost the genius and that is that so that is the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase so the upgraded cassis would be nice to get into play but i think we don't have quite enough to do that so I think we are just uh, trying to rush down Eponimo a bit. So I am using the missile launcher and one ammo counter to deal two damage to an enemy. So this is defeated. Then uh, we can't use the sneak attack because we don't have any allies in our hand. Uh, I will use one ammo counter and a repulsor beam. We deal four damage to an enemy, so Ebonimo flips to phase two. When Ebonimo activates against you, remove an invocation counter from a spell card in your hand uh, play area uh, when revealed each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a spell card and put that card into play to get another spell card and it is uh, pacification it comes into play with three invocation counters and eponimo has 18 health so we need to deal 18 damage to defeat the Eponimo. Uh, let's see. I'll just make the call. Play Mockingbird. So make the call using upgraded Cassis, Sneak Attack and Queen Carrier. Play Mockingbird which will stun Eponimo. And uh, we'll hold on to Black Panther for now. And I'll use the shoulder cannon to fire once here. And Mockingbird to hit for one here. Uh, that is our turn. We are ready up. Uh, we draw back up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We get Strength, uh, Scorch Earth, 2 against the world, Save the Day and Captain Marvel. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, we remove the stun. We get an encounter card and it is pacification. We add some uh, invocation counters here, and that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so uh, we have some. This should be ready. We have some choices to make, so I think we want to try to play Captain Marvel. Then uh, we just start hitting. 
So uh, one, two, three, four, five. We save the day for later. We use the two against the world, scorch earth and strength and clean carrier. Play Captain Marvel. Uh, we use the missile launcher to hit for two damage. We hit for two damage. Uh, we'll hit for two damage here. Three damage here. One damage here. Then we'll use the shoulder cannon. And we'll keep the save the day. And that is our turn. Yeah, Black Panther gets defeated. You ready up? Uh, we'll draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Targeted strike, sneak attack, targeted strike, squad hurt, save the day. Still need to de deal five damage. And that is the hero phase, so we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add a threat. Eponimo attacks, Mockingbird will defend. So, uh, one, uh, two plus three, so Mockingbird is defeated. We remove these counters, so uh, we get confused and lose one card. So, one card is random from your hand. You are confused, so we lose one card. And we save the day. Well, I think we don't need that. We can defeat Eponymo on next turn, so. Uh, encounter card is uh, advance. 2 plus 3 is 5. So we are one, one away from uh, getting threaded out, but that's okay, and these two lose one, so they don't trigger, and, oh yeah, I forgot to do this, so after Captain Marvel enters play, discard the top four cards of your deck, if you discard a printed resource, deal three damage to an enemy, if you discard more than one printed resource, also stun that enemy. I won't uh, do that because I forgot to do it. Because uh, it would have uh, discarded something and we've already... Actually, let's uh, actually do that. So we have this in hand. So... Two, three, four... Yeah, we would have gotten these cards and we had uh, two... Uh, energy resources, so we would have dealt uh, three more damage here. And uh, then we draw the hand and we discard one at random, so this should be correct now. Sorry for making the mistakes, but uh, first time playing the leadership version of Captain Marvel, so it's a little mistake. So we end up uh, discarding the same save the day as before. We have two safety days, conflict gone, and innovation. Okay, well, uh, that is the villain phase. I think we did everything correct this time. Uh, so, did we get the encounter card already? Yeah, we got the advance, so yeah. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, uh, we can just finish off the game. I I just want to play the gauntlet gun down. No, I'll use the uh, innovation so we can uh, heal one damage from an ally. So Captain Marvel can hit for three damage and defeat Ebony more. And that is the game. So uh, yeah, that was the War Machine pre-built uh, leadership deck against Ebony more. Uh, not a push over this scenario for certain. Well, uh, I think uh, playing this uh, War Machine deck for the first time uh, really messed up how I usually play. I really seldom play leadership, and uh, the new way to play leadership 
uh, by using these events that discard uh, your allies is an interesting one. So you need to combo uh, play an ally in with sneak attack. Then, uh, for example, save the day. So this would have removed five threat, or then play the uh, go down swingings and deal damage. So you can get a really powerful turn by using one resource. Uh, play Captain Marvel, get extra damage, hit, and uh, go down swinging. So, really powerful. And I also like the mechanic of the ammo counters. So we still didn't see two cards of the full auto. I would have wanted to see this in uh, use, but it didn't come into hand in the perfect spot. But yeah, hope you guys uh, like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.